Hello there, beautiful Ackworth Suburbanites. It's your boy, The Layoff Show. I'm just driving through the suburbs, far away from the city, away from all, well, away from all the crime and negligence. Um, I just want to uh, make this video about this shooting that took place recently. I can't remember the kid's name, but I remember the headline. It read that this black man got shot over 60 times by police. Now, you know, the reasonable man in me starts out asking the question, okay, what did this guy do? Because you don't just wake up out of bed and walk down the street and get shot 60 times. Okay. So, I was watching a few clips about what happened. Looks like the guy was driving, speeding. Maybe it was a traffic ticket, but he decides to try to run. And there was all there was a report that he possibly shot out of the window at the cops, uh, which is by itself just crazy to me. I'm gonna slow down and let these golfers go by here. Got a couple of golfers. That's where that's where I want to be <laughs> when I get old. In a golf cart, riding in the suburbs, far away from all you idiots. Back to the regular program. So, um, this guy, you know, it was reported that he shot at the police as he's fleeing. Now, that may or may not get you killed. Just based on, you know, stick with me here. Just based on some of the reports that I've seen in the news lately I've seen cases where people were shooting at the police and lived all right um, you know maybe they were shooting at the police and then they got to a position of submission and they stopped and surrendered I don't know um, but I seen in the news recently where some people were shooting at the cops um, a couple of um, white American friends of ours, um, probably not from the suburbs, <laughs> let's be honest, they're probably city trailer parkers, but anyway, um, they, you know, got into a situation with the police, and, you know, I, there was one report where it looks like one couple or some lady tried to run over the cop, and she didn't get shot, but, you know, still, what I would like to say, that's not the point, the point is, being a black man in this country, you need to take extra precaution to make it back home alive you know i don't care what anybody any what anybody else is doing i don't care right or wrong what am i doing to keep myself alive first of all i am not going to run from the cops i have been in plenty of situations with police where i was in the wrong and i was let go with a warning go home type of situation so i don't have any beef with the cops at all Right? Let me just start by saying that. I think the cops are necessary. They are a necessary evil. In fact, I think we need more cops in this country. And they need to get paid better so we can have smarter cops on the force. That's my only beef with the cops is that the requirements to be a cop are, to me, kind of low. But, you know, I think the, those requirements need to, their standards need to be raised. But, you know, that's a different discussion. But, back to the regular program listen if you're in this country i don't care who you are black white whatever you're doing whatever you do you know it's gonna there's gonna be some consequences when you're dealing with police you're trying to run over police or you're trying to shoot at the police nine times out of ten it's not gonna end well for you so my philosophy is get the ticket and take your ass home I don't care if I got expired tags, you know, license expired, I'm speeding, I'm drunk, whatever. Stop. I'm sorry. Go to jail. Get out on bond for, you know, whatever. It's probably going to be a low bond anyway. Or else just take the ticket and go home. Don't try to buck up, man up, and get all belligerent when you're in the wrong. Now, if you're obviously doing nothing wrong, you stand up for yourself. But know the law. You know, stand up for yourself reasonably and be responsible with your life you know that's all I gotta say about that man uh, stay safe out there um, don't you know get into a high speed chase with the police 
and shoot at the police and then and expect to live you that's not going to turn out well for you especially if you, especially if you're a black person in this country use common sense man now we got people you know talking about justice and, and whatnot for a guy who you know may or may not have shot at the cops and was definitely running from the cops i mean if that man had just stopped took his ticket and you know what a fine three four hundred dollar fine he'd still be alive come on man you guys gotta get smarter out there man you guys gotta get smarter out there anyway you know who or the perpetrators are these city folks nothing to lose that's why i stay in the suburbs where there's nothing but beautiful green trees it's your boy the layout show I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.